Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Uh, really remember when we're going through the show to call those prayer lines 307-637-PRAY so we can pray with you and see you through so you can get your breakthrough. And you know, we've seen people out of wheelchairs and eyes healed and ears healed and people just walking again that had canes. I mean, God's done some great things. Healed marriages, saved people. And that's what the show's about. We don't want to just have some talk show that does nothing. The anointing of God rests upon this show and I'm very bold with saying that and that the, it is known for the glory of God the very presence of God and so let it touch your life it, it, you don't expect God to move in that way and you'll get it you have to expect him because we're in a moment now show God's not in a second ago but he's a now God and so as we're going through this program just know he's a now God just get in in line with heaven and say God I want you to minister to me today I need you, God, and I need the Holy Spirit to come and speak and lead and guide me today. Comfort me, counsel me, and lead and guide me into all truth. I need some confirmation. I need some other things. Well, he'll lead you in the way of peace today and let you know that he is there. Because our, our, our show today is about peace. Mm -hmm. And so that peace that passes all understanding, when we're all just a mess, it just passes everything that we think of. And we just know Amen. that we know, don't we, that it's yes. just peace. Amen. So anyways, with that said, welcome to the show. I'm Charlene back to Miriam, one of your uh, hosts. Can we have a, a full shot back there, please? Um, <laughs> I'm Charlene back to Miriam, one of your God's View hosts. This is um, Sean Pruitt. We have Priscilla Pruitt and we have Lana Gardner. And uh, welcome. I, I can't even tell you the countless times where I've uh, answered the prayer lines and they said, wow, I was clicking through the channel and saw you. Well, Amen. stay parked there because we've got a powerful show about peace and who doesn't need peace? Amen. Come on, Amen. with this shaking world Amen. and with things that are mm -hmm. happening, listen, you need the peace of God. So with that, mm -hmm. we're all just gonna grow, whoever yeah. wants to go. Went, well, well, um, well I know. I, you know, I've got you know, when, Whenever I'm witnessing <laughs> to somebody, the one thing that I always say is, I know you don't have peace in your life Amen. because if they don't have Jesus, they don't have the Prince of Peace. No. Amen. It's a phone Amen. piece. Yeah. Remember yeah. that, that uh, sign that used to say, no Jesus, no peace, N-O, Jesus, N-O, peace. Mm -hmm. And then it would say, no Jesus, K -N -O -W. no peace, K-N-O-W. Yeah. 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 And That's you good. know, in the days of old, in the Old Testament, they had a secret place, a secret place where it was called the Holy of Holies, where it was the most peaceful place on earth. It was the, the holiest in the innermost chamber of the temple. And on the Jewish holiday, Yom Kippur, that was the holiest day of the year. It was the Day of Atonement. So there was only one high priest who could enter into the Holy of Holies with God the Father and be in the actual presence of God. And he would go there and he would take the atonement and, uh, and he would be in the presence of the Lord. But the wonderful thing is that, is that now, today, we can, we can uh, enter into the Holy of Holies if you're born again. That's awesome. Isn't yeah. that awesome? That's awesome. That the, that the Bible says in Hebrews 4, 16, enter boldly into the throne room of grace that we may find mercy and help in mm -hmm. a time of need. Oh, it's so and awesome. So I, and you know, I don't care what's going on in my life. As soon as trauma or drama or something enters mm -hmm. into my life, the first thing I do is just run to be alone with the Amen. Lord. Amen. In His presence Amen. is fullness and joy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there's yeah. nothing like it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. How do you mm -hmm. explain it to an unbeliever? You know how you have like faux fur and you have faux um, paint and all these things that are fake. So you do faux marble. This is a faux piece that you're talking yeah. about. It's Amen. a fake. It's a facade. And you know, the true peace, it, peace to walk in peace, it's a choice. We have to choose peace. And see, the devil has one job, to steal, kill, and destroy, right? right. Mm -hmm. And so he knows exactly how to steal our peace. He knows that if he can say this one thing, it'll set you off. It's a button. Amen. He knows if he can get the kids to do this one thing, it's a button. Mm. He knows 
everything that we get set off on. Mm -hmm. But if we can stay in that state of peace, then we can think and rationalize our emotions and maintain our composure and handle all those hormones or whatever we're going through and speak and react in love and yeah. maintain our joy and peace. But if we stay in that peace of mind, no matter what, he can't touch us because he is afraid of who? The Prince of Peace. Yes, he yes. He's afraid of that Prince of <laughs> yes. Peace. Yes. So if, if we can just learn to stay in that state, yes. he can't come at us. He can throw whatever he wants, but Amen. nothing, because then we're actually operating under the influence of the Prince of Peace. And, and in the New Testament, us. it says it's a victory mm -hmm. flag it is. to Amen. the enemy mm -hmm. if we walk in peace. And that faux peace, it's temporary. Yeah. But this yep. peace that Jesus offers that you're talking about, Lana, it's it's. It's real. It's yes. life changing. Yes. It, it actually flows out of you. And people who come around you are like, man, I don't know what it is about you. Yeah, you're in a mess and Amen. you're just kind of walking. Yeah. See, and that's the reason we really, really know when something, when we're just, everything Amen. around us is chaos and we just have this peace. We're kind of just hanging because yeah. we know there's something in us that is such a peace that passes all understanding. And Amen. you know, um, one thing that, um, will really, you know, the Word of God is really, yeah, God, there's an answer for everything. And it says in the Word of God, peace sowers who sow in peace will reap a harvest of righteousness. Mm -hmm. In other words, you will always stay in right standing with Jesus. You don't have to be right. Like say, whether you're in a marriage, whether you're in mm -hmm. a battle with somebody uh -huh. else, if you'll just take the way of peace and just say, okay, I'm right. And they're wrong, but I'm going to take the way of peace. I'm just going to take the way of peace, let them have their way, because peacemakers who sow in peace will reap a harvest Amen. of righteousness. You may be, you know, Amen. they may be mm -hmm. totally wrong in the situation, but, you know, let, them, let, let, it be, <laughs> let it go because you're going to reap righteousness. Mm -hmm. They're going to reap chaos. Yeah. What did you want to say, babe? You know, oh, go, go ahead. Yeah, well, the, you know, the opposite of peace is stress. You know, and it, it seems like it's even more prominent in men. I mean, men are losing hair all the time. And losing it, hair. <laughs> I mean, I recently yeah. I went through, I'm like, gosh, what is wrong with my hair? Why am I starting to lose hair? I'm too young for that. But, it, you know, stress, it causes headaches, increased depression, heartburn, insomnia. How do you say insomnia. that word? Insomnia. Thank you. Insomnia. Rapid breathing, weakened immune system, risk of heart attack, high blood sugar, pounding heart, high blood pressure, fertility problems, yeah. stomach ache. I mean, there's all sorts stress. of things that stress causes. Yes. And wow. so one morning I woke up, I uh, own an oil investment company, and it causes a tremendous amount of stress. From the moment oh, I wake oh. up, I grab myself and I check my emails. Hmm. I start searching the Internet, looking up oil prices and what have you. And the Lord came to me and says, Sean, I want you to work four hours. And that's the only time you get to focus on your business. I don't want you looking at emails. I don't want you search on the internet. I don't want you responding to your phone calls. I'm like, four hours, look, that's not enough time to get anything done. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, fine. <clears throat> After three and a half hours, I raised $50,000. Mm. And I got more done in that four hours than I did in three days. Oh, praise mm -hmm. God. Working eight, more. 10 oh, hours a day. I mean, it's, it's and simple. Guess, guess what the fruit of that was? Peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, peace yeah. is not a feeling or an emotion. Peace is actually a state of being. And in John 16, 33, it says that I have these things, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace, but in the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Even in the midst of bad news and the despair it brings, we can have mm -hmm. peace. Peace is a gift that God gives us. Amen. And so you had to have that gift. And when you operate, you're not operating in your knowledge of, okay, I'm just going to do this. You're not operating like, okay, I, I have to work. I have to work for eight hours. I, I can do this. Let's make this happen. No, when you're operating in a state of peace, it's like this, this, this um, aroma fills the air and it leads you and it guides you. And you're going to be more um, productive yeah. in that four hour of peace than you will at eight hours of working just like he did. Amen. Well, we were created to live in peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. And, and that's why the Lord tells us, be anxious for nothing. Amen. And I, I don't know about you, but in my walk, you know, there are several times a week I, I, I'll get all hyped. And I go, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Lord says, be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. Lord, and then you say, but through prayer and supplication, 
with thanksgiving, mm -hmm. let your requests be, be made known. known. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that peace that passes understanding will be yours. Yeah. Yeah. So Guard your heart just, and we mind. Have to mm -hmm. Feed ourselves the word continuously. That's good. And the sad part about it is that when we worry, it's just, it's so unbecoming and it brings all this illness to our body. But yet when we spend time with the Lord, um, seeking him for peace, it's the greatest devotion mm -hmm. to him and he honors that. And that mm -hmm. scripture, the greatest thing in that word that it says, it will guard your heart Amen. and your mind in Christ Amen. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That peace that she's talking about. When you bring and make your request known to God, mm -hmm. let the peace of God, it will guard just like a guard dog. Mm -hmm. It will guard just like other people guard you. So they right. guard prisoners. Yep. They guard all these things. It guards yes, your heart. So true. And yeah. the thing is, is then you don't have all of these coming at you. And that's why the peace of God, I mean, the, the word of God is so powerful because you could take that one thing and say, hey, wow, yeah, it guards me. Yeah. I can stay in peace because, man, it's guarding everything and it's pushing mm -hmm. everything back. It's pushing the powers, powers, powers of darkness back. You know, it's just like when we're praying to God, it's not like we're making God move. You know, God's moving and doing and positioning us and moving mountains out of the way all the time and mm -hmm. connecting us. You're pushing back darkness. Mm -hmm. You're doing those things when you do warfare. God wants to move on your Amen. behalf. He knew you in the womb. He's got plans that he's always moving moving and doing on your behalf. Mm -hmm. But we push back those forces and, and, and we're kind of like those guards, you know, because he says, guard your heart above what? All, All else. else. Mm -hmm. And so how do we guard our heart? Well, we stay in the peace of God. We read it. We we make sure that we're not going to get all freaked out and stressed. And, Amen. you know, th those are the things how we ourselves can guard by worshiping, by praising, mm -hmm. by doing those things that keep our minds stay. It right. says your mind mm -hmm. will stay on perfect Amen. peace. Yes. And then perfect love. What? Amen. Cast, cast out, out all fear. fear. So when you cast out the fear, the perfect love keeps you in perfect peace. Mm -hmm. Whose mind is what? Stayed on right. thee. Exactly. So that's the mm -hmm. word of God. Mm -hmm. And when you have the word of God operating, it's not going to return void. Amen. It's going to accomplish what it's sent forth to do. But you sometimes got to take action and decree it. Mm -hmm. You got to declare it. You got to speak it. And most of all, you got to believe it. If you're not believing Amen. it and you're allowing everything to shake you and everything that comes is like you're freaking out, it's not going to work. Amen. I say, and, and, we say, let it be on earth. As Amen. it is in heaven, mm -hmm. there, Amen. there's no anxiety in heaven. Nope. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love the word, not just peace, but in Hebrew, it's shalom. Yes. Amen. And what is shalom? In everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Completeness, contentment, yes. wholeness, oh, well-being, so not broken. Every every blessing that there is known to man, safety, rest, prosperity, wholeness, welfare, completion, fullness, soundness, and even well-being without deficiency. And you know what I love about God's peace? I love that, it, like Charlene was starting to talk about this, that it works in our heart. Mm -hmm. And so it, what it does is it molds our heart to where nothing can penetrate it, to where no matter the circumstance, no matter what's thrown at you, you literally are in peace. And see, the world's peace, and I said this for a second earlier, is temporal. It leaves you empty and hungry for the next fix or for the next Amen. drink or for the next, you know, you can be going for peace just by shopping and spending money, mm. you know? It's Amen. all temporal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in, when you're in a state of peace, mm -hmm. you are fruitful. Yeah. When you speak the Word of God, when you pray, but you're in a state of stress and fear and worry, it just destroys that seed mm -hmm. yeah, and it, you know even in our physical body god mm -hmm. uses creation to show us what's going on in the unseen realm and in in fact stress causes men to be unfertile mm. it does and women wow. too wow. And, and, women and, too. And, and women too and so i remember like it was yesterday the lord Wow. When you're in a state of peace, God will give that's you good. ideas. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Because you can hear. For your ministry, yeah. for your marriage, for your family, for your, for your business. Yeah. For I've had the greatest ideas from God yes. in peace, yeah. spending time with Him that made me fruitful. God gave me an idea. I acted on it. Mm -hmm. And I got the first fruit while I was on a date with my wife. 
We're sitting there relaxing, having a good time, eating popcorn, watching a movie. I got a lead on my cell phone. I'm like, honey, I got my first lead. She's like, okay, get great. <laughs> but, <laughs> going on, honey. <laughs> but because of that yeah. one lead, it was the equivalent of me working for 12 months. Isn't wow. And Incredible. I was resting wow, in wonderful. peace. Yeah. Hanging in out with my wife. And that's you know awesome. what? what let, we, we've got to bring the other side of this, too. What is one of the biggest peace robbers? It's worry. And, and we yeah. worry about our kids, or we worry about them not being sex, successful, or sex successful, uh -oh. um, all that's these the kind show. of things. What was that worry about that, too. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Yeah. And, and worry is a big robber. And don't don't worry about things. Let let God handle it. Because worry is like Amen. a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you nowhere. You <laughs> have good. to. Yeah. Oh, I took that from somebody a long time ago. That's good. I wish I would have made that up, but I didn't. But anyways, it's still, it's a great thing. Worry is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but gets you nowhere. Mm -hmm. And so when we surrender it all and when we give it um, to uh, God, He's the one that your, your, your peace will pass all of your understanding. You know, you start, your mind, everything starts in the mind. If you think about what you're thinking about, you might be thinking today, oh, I look terrible. Or you might be thinking, oh my gosh, my daughter or my son, they're going to do this today and I'm just so concerned. Or you start getting out of peace. You start thinking about maybe mm -hmm. bills. You start maybe thinking about, you know, uh, are we going to get through this in our marriage? Right. Or maybe you just lost a house. And, and and, and everything just keeps playing over in your mind. Well, what happens is it steals your peace because mm -hmm. it's like a big magnified glass that just magnifies on that because your thoughts. Amen. Sometimes you just have to, like the Word of God says, He means it. Take captive every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. So you just say, you know, you just stop thinking yes. about it. You just keep That's thinking right. about what you think about Amen. and put your mind on yeah. something else because it's all births here. Mm -hmm. Because if you get a picture in your mind and you keep thinking about it, you're going to act on it sooner or later. You are going to behave that way. Amen. That's what kids uh -huh. do. That's what people do. That's what we all do. Because you cannot keep just going over something. That's how unforgiveness does. You keep thinking about what that person did to you. Mm -hmm. And you keep thinking about Amen. over and over what you said, what you're going to say, why didn't you say this? You know what? And it steals your peace. Mm -hmm. It robs your peace. Amen. So, you know, it's just, a, it's yeah. just a What else can we say Wait, robs? You know what? We can't allow oh, the enemy. Kids getting bad grades in yeah. school. <laughs> yeah. Children. But you know what we can't allow is the devil to, to give us yes. a future, to make us imagine a future where God's grace is not in it. Amen. And this is what steals our peace. Amen. I'm telling you. For, for instance, let's say um, you get in an argument with your husband. You're like, oh, man, he did it again. He's not going to change. This is just going to keep going. And I, I yeah. like, you just keep yeah, going. Yeah. You're like, no, now I'm just not going to take and this anymore. It. I'm done. I'm just going to be, I'm going to send him home. I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. You just keep imagining this future. Mm -hmm. And you literally somehow connected all these dots. And now you're just, you're divorced in your mind. And you're like, what? How did you get I there? know. Hello. You How about that? letting the sun go down on our rat? Yeah. Mm. That's another way. Yeah. No, that's yeah, that you can't big. Big. Yeah. yeah. The you word know, yeah, tells us. I mm. think a classic story of peace is Jesus. When Amen. the disciples said to him that the storm. He, yeah, about the storm. The, the, uh, Jesus said to the disciples, take me on the lake to the other side. And they, of course, wanted to please him so much mm -hmm. that they that they <laughs> went into the boat and they got halfway <laughs> into the lake. And all of a sudden, what happened? The storm came the wind. in. Wind, mm -hmm. I mean, so horrendous <laughs> wind where the sails were like feathers in the breeze. And, and the disciples were so afraid that they mm -hmm. literally thought that they were going to die. Yep. The waves were hitting the sides of the boat and going into the water and they're trying to bail out water and their Peter's frantic he goes where is Jesus <laughs> yeah, and they, they're looking all over for <laughs> Jesus and yeah. where is he he's laying asleep uh -huh. and finally one of them shook Jesus and don't he said care? we're dying don't you care <laughs> yeah don't you care yeah. you, know, you know we could be falling overboard they're filled with fear exactly and so Jesus very calmly, remember he got up. Mm -hmm. You were in the boat then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> that, that he just stood up just as calm as could be. And he mm -hmm. said, Peace, Peace be still. Be still. And the wind stopped. And then he looked at the disciples and he said, why are you so fearful? Mm. Yes. That's Haven't so you been with me? 
long enough mm. to know that I will take care of you, that, that uh, you have so little faith. Yeah. Don't Amen. you know I care about you? Mm -hmm. And that's just what he says to us. Mm -hmm. He's always working everything together for good for those who love him. Yes. You know, someone's probably watching this right now and saying that, yeah, that's, that may be okay for that situation. And yeah, they had Jesus, but I don't have Jesus. You know, but y you don't understand that that yes. same power that same Jesus thing. has yes. and Amen. had, because he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, yeah. you have too. He Amen. says greater things that we will do. Amen. So you have to realize that you can speak to your storm right now, whatever yes. the situation may be. Right. You can say to your situation, peace, Amen. Yeah. be still. That's right. Amen. And the key to receiving this peace is spending the time with them. It says yes. the word, seek mm -hmm. ye first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, yeah. and all these things will be added. Mm -hmm. God is your only source. Mm -hmm. Everything in this world was created by one source, and that is God Almighty. Mm -hmm. And if you just go to him and hang out with him, you will have such a peace, and you will birth things, your dreams, your, your ideas, they will come to pass. But when you are in a state of anxiety, when, when, a, when a mother has a baby growing in her womb, that baby will die if it's in a serious state of mm -hmm. stress. The environment yes. Yes. Wow, is yes. key to growing your fruit. And if your environment is mm -hmm. in a state of stress, the prayers that you're asking for they will perish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not and all of them. Do you know? Even our yeah. bodies turn yes. into yes. acid. Yes. Our stomach turns yeah. into we acid right. if we're in a state of stress. Yes. yes. And do you know another robber? Let me let me tell you about this. Another robber is condemnation. And the Bible tells yeah. us mm -hmm. there's no condemnation now for those who are in Christ Amen. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I've I've said this many times. When they go into a city or anywhere to condemn a building, it's because it's unfit for use. And one of the greatest things that the devil uses is in your mind making you feel like you're just not measuring up you're not good enough you're just and it takes your peace because you're always fighting yourself and always condemning yourself because you don't feel like you're quite good enough like you're unfit for use and the thing is is you are fit for use and it's just trying to take your peace and so I would start to think about what you're thinking about and think about good thoughts and and like we talked about worry you know all these things it's like a rocking chair it gives you something to do but it gets you nowhere it's a dead end it's like when you go on all these streets and it's dead end you have no way mm -hmm. but to turn around and come back so just turn around think about the things that steal your peace mm -hmm. and cause you because again God's Word says there is a peace that passes all of our understanding the things that we're thinking about the things that we're going through the things that we're worried about the things that we're we're doubting mm -hmm. in our life or or mm -hmm. maybe we're thinking will our child ever make this will they ever be this mm -hmm. will i ever get through with this college course will i and you know it's always these questions mm -hmm. that he makes you doubt yourself mm -hmm. and then it robs your peace but god wants you to be in peace today he loves Amen. you Mm -hmm. And believe me, I've been on both sides of this coin, you know, and all, all of us up here on this panel have, and we can tell you that you know, there's an answer and there is a perfect peace and that's found in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you, this show goes all over the world and we can tell you the people that call endlessly over and over and over on our prayer lines that need exactly what we are saying mm -hmm. because everybody gets beat up. Nobody, you know, feels like they're perfect or measured up. Mm -hmm. I mean, or they don't think they're pretty or they <clears throat> want Debbie's hair or they yeah. want uh, Joni's eyes or they want, you know what I I mean right. so-and-so's body and so we're always in a state of the devil trying to beat us up there's good and there's evil and it's always in a battle and you can see it on all the movies do you think that's all just kind of like pie in the sky man it's always good versus evil but I will tell you good will win always. it will win always but you have to start somewhere with believing in yourself mm -hmm. and believing in what God has called Amen. you and not letting doubt <clears throat> and I the biggest thing 
thing I can tell people to stay in peace. Think about what you're thinking about. If you're yes, just sat, sitting at say. the dishwasher or putting pattern. your dishes in the sink, mm. and all of a sudden you start thinking something goes through your mind mm. of how bad you are. Oh, this situation or so and so said so and so. You mm. know what? Don't fall prey. Just keep thinking about what you think about, and then stay in peace. Yeah. Isaiah yeah. fifty three. Yeah, he was love it. Four and five. He was wounded for our, our transgressions. transgressions. What are our transgressions? Crime, deaths, offenses, wrongdoings. He Amen. was bruised for our, our iniquity. Amen. What is iniquity? Yeah. All of the wickedness, the evil, Amen. the sin. But that chance. He did it all for us. Of our peace. He did it all for us. That's yeah. why we, the peace is upon him. And after the resurrection, uh -huh. he said, peace be with you. Yes, yes. Amen. he did. Mm -hmm. Amen. He will. My Amen. peace will mm -hmm. always be with you. And I know you, you talked about it um, earlier this month when we did another show. You talked about a little bit about your thought patterns. And that's what she's touching. And if you don't know how to do that, how to start changing your thought patterns, like you were talking about mm -hmm. and how she was talking about another show you just find one scripture just start with one mm -hmm. memorize that yes. one scripture and every time a thought comes in nope say it yeah yeah every time the one thought comes in nope i review yes. and you just keep in the name of jesus making a wow new this pattern. show went fast it did ah, it went fast <laughs> okay you know what we do the last two minutes because it means everything to us mm -hmm. i know once my life was lost but you know what jesus came to seek and save the lost and that's mm -hmm. what our program's about we want to see you get better we want to see you walk in peace we want to see the pieces of the puzzle come together in your life and there's so many people that that watch whether it's prisoners or prostitutes or whoever and, and, and they've come to the Lord and they've changed their lives. And, and today, no matter where you're at, where you're at in your life, you know what? Maybe all the pieces are so broken and you can't put it back together again. I talk about it all the time. My dear friend, glass blower, famous Chris McGahan, takes broken pieces of glass and he makes these beautiful Redento Raffinettos out of it. And, uh, and they go for a lot of money, believe me, but he donated these to our fabulous studio here and we are so grateful for him because it represents so much when we walk into this mm -hmm. room. It represents life to us and we take life serious Amen. and God takes your life serious. He came, he died on a cross, rose again mm -hmm. and is coming back, a second coming to take you Amen. to heaven eternally. So all you got to do, he made it so easy. He said, everybody who calls on my name will be saved and it'll change your life. It'll start changing things in your life. It's got to be Jesus mm -hmm. in your heart. You can't just say, oh, I'm good enough or whatever. I'm a good person. I did this. You've got to say, Jesus, Amen. come into my life. Yes. Forgive me of my sin. I believe you're the son of the living God that you died on a cross, rose again and coming back to take us. And if you said that, believe me, you are saved. He said, you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. You merge those two. You're just saved. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. People keep thinking, oh, no, 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 because their intellect keeps fighting with this and they just can't believe it's that easy. It's that easy. Been there, done it. And so your life will change. And if you mm -hmm. did that, call our prayer line. 307-637-PRAY. Tell us about it. Write us on our website. It's goodbye for today, but we're so glad you joined us. Stay in peace. Think about what you're thinking about, and it's only goodbye for today. We'll see you next program. Mwah.